Now, what does that look like? What y'all see, people? Not only do you see the primordial waters, the primordial waters in the background, right? Or would you see the earth and everything resting in, right? Even this mothership or what they call this spaceship, you know, this, um, what they call it, um, satellite. This is not a satellite, people. This is a weapon, okay? And this is where they're trying to. This is what they're trying to trying to destroy. But the shape of it is interesting, right? You see the you see the Yanni, right? That is the matrix, right? Which represents the womb, which is a representation of the female, which is which is the representation of the rejuvenating power of God or the goddess. Right or who God is, right? That is literally. You see the fallopian tube, right? Right. You see the whole uterus, right? You see it. Let me let me get into that. Okay, because the reason the nine came out of the water is because we're talking about born in supreme mathematics. That's what the five percent. That's what that is. That's what the five percent is deal with, right? It's the, literally the mathematical law of nature. That's just what it is. They work, okay? That nine is born, okay? Birth. Look at that. So that's what the nine coming out of the water. So the primordial waters was about, right? Now they're using this chaotic energy, right? Because water. Did, Water destroys shit too. It's the most powerful thing on earth, right? And with you ain't no ain't no coming alive without it, right? And some shape or form that water takes. This is talking about the perversion of that chaotic energy and how they use that that feminine energy, right? And how they control and destroy us with it. This is what that's about. Ain't that something? I'm full loose. Right? That's when you put the arm with the phallus. Right? And I'm full loose is the rejuvenating power of both genes. You feel me? Power energy. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Matrix equals womb equals Yanni, which is female generative power, oracle, cycle, circle, okay? Phallus, phallus is oracle, also means generative in the head, right? And then the rative, right? <clears throat> it's the power and the energy of the, of, of the conversion and putting it together. Now, which is dealing with your, your core and your center, right? Which is the heart of everything. This is the problem, right? They Alpha O is to destroy this Yanni that's sitting in the sky, the matrix that is controlling everything, right? It says right here, right? In that eclipse, the Jews consider Jerusalem to be the navel of the earth. The above edamine of the word does not quite meet all the circumstances. I mean, unless we consider this mystic word to have had more meanings than one, we have seen that oracle meant a navel, it is, or center meant a navel. It is the name given to Delphi and Delphi. Mr. Fable has observed has the meaning of the female organ of generation called in India Yani. Right, the Asmache. Jones says Oracle, Matrix, Womb, in one of the places of Moore's Hindu pantheon. Brahma is seen rising from the navel of Brahmaya with the umbilical cord uncut. This justifies the last rendering of Jones. Matrix. Right? Keep that in mind. Okay? Because you're in the matrix. We're in the matrix. 
right? We're going to always be in the matrix. That's what the primordial waters are, okay? Closely allied. It seems to be that the word omphalos, right, or omphalos, I find to mean phallus or linga, the membrane viral constantly used for the generative power. Y'all see that? The generative power. Oh, look at that. 360 degrees on the screen. Okay, we got a 30 up there. All right. We got a 10 and a 9 and a 19. All right. That's some good numbers going on right now. So look at that. Look at the generative power. All right. Because we know that God has the power to what? Yeah. Create, preserve, and destroy. That is Am. <laughs> Y'all peep that. Why is it seven and four on the clock? Right? Four, one, six. Right? Why? Because now we're dealing with wisdom. That's the point. We're talking about ascending. We're talking about them get literally. We're talking about that born again. Right? So now they got they're gonna double the knowledge. You see the double? Right? Because the the baby, they both have come together and that she's pregnant now. Okay. Now he's looking for an amatsu. Okay. We're going to find out. Now, why is the 11 on the clock? Because 1 plus 1 equals 2, and 2 is Buddha. It means ascension. Okay? Buddha, remember, is attached to the earth, or Gaia, or Maya, by umbilical cord. This is, this hidden, this is the hidden symbolism in it. Right? Now... Joshua, right, equals Jesus, equals Moses, okay, which is the stone, okay, that the builders rejected, right, that Moses struck symbolically, okay, when Moses struck the stone, he struck Jesus in the water, he, he wasn't supposed to do that. So now he isn't going to be able to go to the promised land, but Joshua is. Okay? Because now that the, 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 the torch has been handed to, to, to Joshua to be the Savior. Okay? Now, what else do I got on Joshua? Joshua, right? Which is Yeshua. Okay? who is Jesus. He's the savior. This is the role that he is supposed to play. And he's black. Right? So he 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 he's on a mission. He has the knowledge, right? This is another reason that 11 is on the clock. It's amazing. So we you know, and it, it's not you know that it, this is not this is not a uh, it's not too deep, but it's heavy. It's heavy stuff. It's heavy symbolism, you know, and, and, and what we're dealing with, what we call agitated propaganda, okay? So so keep that in mind, you know, that now we got, we got the creator, we got the, we got uh, the womb of life, right? The matrix, the primordial waters, right? And we got, we got uh, the matrix, I mean, we got the, we got Narmata, Right. This is this is this is what the whole point is. That's why it's called the Creator. They're looking for. They they're, they're trying to figure out who. They know who's behind it, so they're trying to destroy it, because it's going to ultimately get rid of the Western world. They, it's not going. To, they're going to get wiped out. They have a bad history. White people have a bad rep. <laughs>